Our preparedness to take upon ourselves the cudgels of the struggle will see us through. We must completely remove from our vocabulary the concept of fear. Truth must triumph ultimately over evil. The white man has always nourished his greed on the basic fear that manifests itself in the black community. Special branch agents will not turn the lie into truth, and one must ignore them. In a real bid for change, we have to take off our coats, be prepared to lose our comfort and security, our jobs and our positions of prestige, our families. For just as it is true that leadership and security are basically incompatible, it may well be true that a struggle without casualties is not worth its salt. We must ultimately accept that prophetic cry by black students. Black man, you are on your own. We must ultimately accept the prophetic cry by black students. Black man, you are on your own. Some will charge that we are racist, but let us not take heed of that. For these people are using exactly the values we reject. We do not have the power to subjugate anyone. We are merely responding to provocation in the most realistic way. Racism not only implies exclusion of one race by another, it always presupposes that the exclusion is for the purposes of subjugation. Blacks have had enough experiences as objects of racism not to wish to reverse the tables. While it may be relevant now to talk about black in relation to white, we must not make this our preoccupation, for it can be a negative exercise. As we proceed more towards the achievement of our goals, let us talk more about ourselves and our struggle, and less about whites. As we proceed more towards the achievement of our goals, let us talk more about ourselves and our struggles, and less about whites. We have set out on a quest for true humanity, and somewhere in the distant horizon we can see the glittering prize. Let us march forth with courage and determination, drawing strength from our common plight and our brotherhood. In time, we shall be in a position to bestow upon South Africa the greatest gift possible, a more human face.